Lamentations 1 How doth the city sit solitary, that was full of people? How is she become as a widow, she that was great among the nations, and princess among the provinces? How is she become tributary? She weepeth sore in the night, and her tears are on her cheeks. Among all her lovers, she had none to comfort her. All her friends have dealt treacherously with her. They are become her enemies. Judah is gone into captivity because of affliction, and because of great servitude. She dwelleth among the heathen. She findeth no rest. All her persecutors overtook her between the straits. The ways of Zion do mourn, because none come to the solemn feast. All her gates are desolate, her priests sigh, her virgins are afflicted, and she is in bitterness. Her adversaries are the chief, her enemies prosper. For the Lord had afflicted her for the multitude of her transgressions. Her children are gone into captivity before the enemy. And from the daughter of Zion, all her beauty is departed. Her princes are become like hearts, the final pasture. And they are gone without strength before the pursuer. Jerusalem remembered in the days of her affliction and of her miseries, all her pleasant things that she had in the days of old, of old, when her people fell into the hand of the enemy, and none did help her. The adversaries saw her, and did mock at her sabbaths. Jerusalem had grievously sinned, therefore she is removed. All that honored her despise her, because they have seen her nakedness. Yea, she sigheth and turneth backward. Her filthiness is in her skirts. She remembereth not her last end. Therefore she came down wonderfully. She had no comforter. O Lord, behold my affliction, for the enemy had magnified himself. The adversary had spread out his hand upon all her pleasant things, for she had seen that the heathen entered into her sanctuary, whom thou didst command that they should not enter into thy congregation. All her people sigh, they seek bread, they have given their pleasant things for meat to relieve the soul. See, O Lord, and consider, for I am become vile. Is it nothing to you, O ye that pass by? Behold, and see if there be any sorrow like unto my sorrow, which is done unto me, wherewith the Lord had afflicted me in the day of his fierce anger. From above had he sent fire unto my bones, and it prevaileth against them. He had spread a net for my feet, he had turned by me back. He had made me desolate and faint all the day. The yoke of my transgressions is bound by his hand. They are wreathed and cometh up upon my neck. He had made my strength to fall. The Lord had delivered me into their hands, from whom I am not able to rise up. The Lord had trodden underfoot all my mighty men. In the midst of me, he had called an assembly against me to crush my young men. The Lord had trodden the virgin, the daughter of Judah, as in a white wine press. For these things I weep, mine eye, mine eye runneth down with water, because the comforter that should relieve my soul is far from me. My children are desolate, because the enemy prevailed. Zion spreadeth forth her hands, and there is none to comfort her. The Lord had commanded us concerning Jacob, 
that his adversaries should be round about him. Jerusalem is as a menstruous woman among them. The Lord is righteous, for I have rebelled against his commandment. Hear, I pray you, all people, and behold my sorrow. My virgins and my young men are gone into captivity. I called for my lovers, but they deceived me. My priests and mine elders gave up the ghosts in the city while they sought their meat to relieve their souls. Behold, O Lord, for I am in distress. My bowels are troubled. Mine heart is turned within me, for I have grievously rebelled. Abroad the sword bereaveth, a home there is as death. They have heard that I sigh. There is none to comfort me. All mine enemies have heard of my trouble. They are glad that thou hast done it. Thou wilt bring the day that thou hast called, and they shall be like unto me. Let all their wickedness come before thee, and do unto them, as thou hast done unto me for all my transgressions. For my sighs are many, and my heart is faint.